brothers my guys know that they fly know that they ride or die i keep wave on my side cj act now i gotta roll with ice ride or die 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 cold these brothers my guys know that they fly know that they ride or die i keep wave on my side cj act now i gotta ride or die So what's up lads welcome back to another episode starting this one off with some penguins and we're real close to a herb lore level yeah we'll get it with this lamp and this is actually a very important herb lore level as most of them are but this is 95 and I recently noticed this makes Herbie Werby 200% more XP and extreme inventions as well which are pretty nice but yeah Herbie Werby man if you could make that give more XP it's always good a cheeky uh, 85 construction off our dailies monthlies whatever <laughs> So just finishing up Herbie Werby and my god this is a massive XP increase 128k uh, that's with Agaroth the two crystal black pearl things for bonus XP normally get like 90 something so that's like a f over a 30k XP increase more like 40k so the main thing I want to get at the moment is holy overloads but the one thing I didn't realize is I need 92 farming to grow the herb to make the prayer renewals to make the holy overloads blah -de blah but if we have a look at recipes right so the main good thing about holy overloads which is this one not only what they do it being an overload and you know a prayer renewal as well it's the fact that it takes a four dose overload to make it and this is a six dose potion so you basically get in six doses of overload for four but what I can make is a searing overload. So this is an overload and an anti-fire. I've got a huge supply of anti-fires, so it's not really a waste. And I'm get, I'm basically trading anti-fires to get two more doses of overloads. It'll feel kind of weird using them when I'm not fighting dragons. Um, but for now, I think it's actually thinking about it. It's really worth doing. So we're going to unlock that and we're going to make a bunch of searing overloads. All right, we're going to hit the skill boost. Bro, this is a huge moment for this account. Not going to lie. Oh, my God. This is a huge moment for an Iron Man. But, yeah, Herblore boost. And then what do I do? Do I just click mix potion on that? Oh, there it is. Bro, that is a game changer. Bro, oh, that dude, is this even my account? Like, <laughs> that's huge. Ah, uh, did I not save that as a preset? No. Okay. So since we um, got our overloads, I thought I'd give Kree a try because I haven't been back here since having. I think I've I've tried with Soul Split and it wasn't a great. It wasn't great. Um, but I haven't been back here since having overloads as well, and you know all that other good stuff. Probably the last time I ever come here and actually have to do kill count because we'll be getting 90 soon. But yeah, I was just kind of in the mood. Hopefully we'll get lucky. We're just going to do an hour and see how it is for just, you know, just AFKing it. All right, so I tried using a Reckless Aura and I was just killing through prayer. Um, now I'm using Soul Split with Anguish and I've got Penance and barely, barely need to drink prayer pots, which is way better because with the Reckless, I was chugging prayer pots. So I literally just turn it off I hate turning off like a berserk or reckless aura because uh yeah they're just not up very often but it's definitely worth it to do here so it looks like penance is definitely the way to go if you just want to soul split this hey and there we go i literally just bought time just so i could do a couple more kills uh we got ourselves the armadillo gloves it's actually a huge upgrade <laughs> oh it's depressing to admit it but level 70 gloves from fucking royal van braces we're gonna uh destroy them there we go uh bro bro that is uh that's a back to back <laughs> uh back to back gloves into chain skirt holy shit bro that's so nice oh no more fucking barrows gear that is a huge upgrade oh we actually look the part a lot better now as well yeah, so uh, 98 kills for legs, helmet, and gloves. That's pretty mad. I'm not going to use the um, the legs yet, though, because I'm going to need to park them again. Ah, I forgot. Because this is, like, coincidentally level 12, I can just destroy it, and I should just get the, the perks back, right? Oh, that's easy. And then, yeah, and then we augment that. And just chuck these perks straight on. There we go. Good to go. 
definitely look <laughs> way more professional. I think wearing the um the the krills like no one even knows what I'm wearing. They're like, what is that you're wearing? Because like you never see anyone in like Barrow's gear and stuff. They definitely look way more professional. I need them boots, man. I've had these boots for too long. All right, if we move quick enough, we should be able to siphon this bow. And should be a pretty good milestone coming in. Okay. And there it is, just in time. Uh, that's 92, halfway to 99. The invention levels are going to come so quick now I have charges. And I'm actually back doing combat. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, boys. He's only going to done it. Armadil chest plate. Um, that's full armadil minus the boots in... Uh, is it my last? Let's have a look. Cree. Uh, 150 kills? Oh my god, I've been spooned. So fucking hard. Wow. Okay. Oh wow, that was actually last kill of the instance as well. So, the last trip, we did an hour, and then I extended it, and then the second and third kill of that extended part we got drops and then i decided to just leave we've come back and this instance the last kill of the hour we got a drop as well <laughs> um yeah so that's kind of like basically three items uh in like one hour ten minutes jesus all right so i think we literally just destroy this and augment this and we're good to go i was gonna stay for another hour but i'm gonna leave just to do that quickly Alrighty, so all we need to do is destroy this and we should get our stuff back. Let me move these perks out of the way so I don't get confused. So we destroy that, add this, done, put our crackling back on and boom. <laughs> Bro, I actually look professional. What is this? Am I an Iron Man? Like, bro, I got so spooned. I got so damn spooned. Like, look how clean we look for an Iron Man. I also perked my bow in case you didn't notice. So he's a magic short bow override just for memes. But if we check this as well, uh, I put P5E2 on it. Just ignore the P3. Um, didn't have many shots because of ancient invention. I need, I need to destroy more stuff. But yeah, that's P, P5E2. It's all right for now. So apparently I didn't actually claim all the rewards in the last video from World's Wake. I thought they were just given to me. Um, I think I just go Gothic Shrine, but you're actually meant to go back in and do some shit. So I think if I pray here, I should get 100k prayer XP. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Got us to 96. And then for like lighting all of these. Ooh, we got a combat level as well. One combat level to go. Yeah, and lighting all these should give me, like, they give, like, 10k each. Yeah, so that's, like, another 50k as well. I have no idea why I hadn't made these sooner. Jade amulets. So when you're making overloads, it has a chance to give you a four dose instead of a three. So if I make 100 amulets, that's, that's, they got five charges each. So that's basically, like, 120 free overloads <laughs> why have i not done this till now but yeah i got this it's just jade amulet silver i've got some balls of wool and good to go just enchant them and put them in my herbal preset all right and should have a nice crafting level coming in 90 there we go all all my upgrades with crafting they're just bottlenecked really 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 hard right now uh by invention but invention should go up pretty damn quick we need like a hundred and something for all the good jewelry so we're just waiting on that so i really want to test out my smithing brawlers so i've made a plus four and we're going to use the brawlers in the wilderness and see how much xp we get making the plus four into a plus five so the gloves have 434 charges i'm really really hoping that that's per xp hit so they're going to actually last a decent amount of time. But let's make the plus five heat it up. And yeah, let's see how much these XP drops are. Let's have a look. Woo, look at that extra XP. 632 XP. That's like 1k XP a hit. Holy shit. Let's see uh, how many charges that uses. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's one charge per hit. So perfect. These these got to last a long while. It's going to be a lot of smithing XP. Boys, just look at that XP an hour. 2.1 mil. 
This is crazy. Uh, the brawlers are gonna be like nearly done though from one plate body. Um, I could probably do like a little bit on one more maybe, and then yeah, they'll be done so. So yeah, doing one plate body four to five. We only had 29 charges left, so I'm gonna just absolutely waste them here because I can't be asked to come back just for 29 charges. But wow, <laughs> my god, that XP was mad. This is the dream combo you want, boys. See us using the Slayer Helm. Because it's an aviancy task, but it's also a reaper. Love it when the stars align like this. And we just got ourselves 90 Slayer. Finally, now we can go get ourselves the relic, which will allow us to get in here without using kill count. Bro, I wanted this relic for so long. I'm definitely thinking my plan after getting the relic is to do a lot of God Wars 1. See if we can, like, complete maybe another one of these, because we've already done Krill, and it's a really good way to uh, level Invention as well, because I'm really close on being able to make myself a Lock of the Dwarves and things like that. So I was having a conversation with someone, and I completely forgot that the Prawn Balls give you food, Baron Sharks, and... I got a shark egg. I can probably, I'm hoping, finish the aquarium purely from opening prawn balls from getting 99 fish in. And we'll see how many barren shark we get from this. And I'll update you guys shortly. All right, well, that's the uh, the aquarium finished. In um, Yeah, I've still got over a 1,000 left. I'm thinking I can probably prestige this. Add all dec decorations as well. Sweet. Uh, got 202 free food already as well. I'm gonna have to build all the other shit in here though, because I can't go inside because I don't have a diving apparatus to actually pull the plug. So we're gonna do that quickly, go inside, pull the plug, and see if we can fully complete this, which I think is two more times with what we have left, which I think we will be able to, because we did it once with under 500. So as you level this up, you get different plugs. The only way to get this plug and that plug is to prestige in it by getting all the eggs again. That's what we're gonna be trying to do. So we just got to, I think, flick off build mode, and then we can go inside, and then we just pull the plug, and that should reset it. You can only pull the plug and prestige your crown once you've collected. Ah, oh, okay, I need to build the perk thing first as well and then we'll pull it and get the eggs again all right so with 420 prawn balls left we've managed to prestige it twice hopefully that's enough to complete this wait thinking about it yeah we have finished it because we got this stoner jazz plug we just haven't replaced all the eggs we managed to get four more but obviously we're an iron man we're gonna fish again at some point and be able to finish it but if we turn off build mode and put these eggs in I don't think I've ever seen the Stoner Jazz plug. Yeah, add all eggs, and I think it'll put me in automatically. And there it is. Stoner Jazz. I don't know what, what the reason would be to pull this, because we got the achievement here. So I'm assuming... Yeah, that's it finished. Just need to obviously replace the fish, but that's not a big deal. But anyway, let's try and get the Slayer Totem. Also forgot to mention, we ended up with 700 and I think it's 708 or 706 uh, Baron Sharks as well, which is uh, pretty decent. That's a lot of free food. But it's, these Baron Fish are better than a Sal Fish. So if we look at it, a Sal Fish heals 2,400, right? A Baron Fish heals 2,000 up front. And then 500 over a certain amount of seconds. So essentially a barren fish is 2.5k healing and a sow fish is 2.4. I, I never realized these uh, barren fish were so good. All right, so this is the safe spot. I believe it's a 1 in 300 or something. Uh, if the raw recurs, it does increase the drop rate as well. But these guys, man, their HP is so high, 45k. We might be here um, a very long time. Well, uh, I've been spooned, boys. Total... <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm so excited. Totem of Intimidation at 48 Dinosaurs. <laughs> yes. All right. So we're just missing one piece. And it's a mini quest called Helping Lanakir or something. So if we just go, go do that and then we're ready to rumble. So I thought while I'm here, I might as well do the mini quest that unlocks the new boss because it doesn't take long. I did it on my main. And this place is just a ball lake to get to. This end of the island is terrible. But at least we can use the portal now. That was uh, the most useful 30 seconds of my life. I'm glad that's over. That was more of a quest than a mini quest. And it was definitely more like an old school quest but yeah let's go sort this totem out all right and there we go boys the totem is active for anyone who doesn't know what it does 
I'll just show you quickly and waste some money. But yeah, so if you want to go God Wars, you just uh, you have make sure that totem is active. We'll just uh, we'll just pick Krill. Why not? You go in. Normally, I would have to do kill count, but nope. Straight in. Straight into the boss. Start slash join. Just put that normal so it doesn't cost me any money. And boom, we're in. That's it. No kill count, man. And yeah, and you want to bank, you literally just leave, grab some more food, bank your items, come back. Just makes God Wars 1 a less tedious absolute breeze. I'm so glad to have this. Ah, I decided to uh, come try this boss, and that's Kill Count 72. It's just as AFK as all the other ones, and I need to drop sign. But we, we got ourselves an offhand crossbow. Which is just pretty nice to have on this account. Like, bro, we're just getting, like, full armor till this video. Uh, it'd be funny if I get the on hand next. So, we're getting right near the end of this instance. And, yeah, totally fine on food and stuff. And there is a 100 kill count. Got three pieces of War Priest, a Godsword Shard, and an Armadil Crossbow. Don't think I'm going to squeeze anything out in the next two kills. And we've got ourselves another rare at kill count. Wait, no, this isn't Kree. Hold up. Uh, but we'll grab that. Right, so this one is kill count 157. Got ourselves a Sara Sword. I think it's literally useless. I have no idea. Cool nonetheless. Mate, of all the fucking things this boss could give me that I don't have, it gives me another offhand crossbow. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Where the hell is the kill count? Three of these fucking bitches. I literally said if I get another one, I'd quit the, quit the game, but here we are, and I'm still playing. Three offhands, and like, fuck all else other than a sword. And in only 191 kills, that's so strange. And uh, we just got a uh, hiss. I have no idea how much this thing's worth. Let's have a look. Examine? Is it dead content? I think so, 150k. Uh, this is not the one that we need either. Okay, so I think this is probably a good spot to end the video. We've been absolutely spooned at Armadil and kind of like, kind of spooned at Sara as well, minus the, the free fucking offhand crossbows. Uh, shout out to everyone who's hit the join button and thank you for the uh, the new members as well. Appreciate you guys. Make the, uh, keep the dream a reality. Uh, we've got so much done this video. Biggest thing probably being the overloads Plus, obviously, loads of other stuff. Uh, camping out God Wars 1 is probably going to be extremely easy now, as we've seen. And, yeah, I might even go for three of the logs there that I don't have. But, yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate the continued support. However many likes this video gets in the first 12 hours is how many bosses I'm going to kill in the next video. Thank you for the continued support. And catch you later. Brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side, CJ act. Now I gotta roll with ice. Cold these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side.